I'm back with another video. I know it's been a hot minute, but I've really, really been enjoying this patch, playing it, and it's been awesome. The removal of Archnem has really, really opened up the mapping space for a lot of new and interesting builds, I think. Um, it just put a lot of less build pressure. You can really do whatever you want now, and it feels pretty good, which is fantastic. But that was kind of my overall summary of the patch. You know, very simple, but very, very good. Definitely not a perfect patch, but fantastic compared to Calandra. So I'm very, very pleased about that, which is awesome. But the purpose of this video is about currency. I was kind of having like a shower thought to myself the other day when I was putting together really expensive builds and such, and I enjoy playing them, showcasing them, and selling them so you can all enjoy as well. Um, but I think the thing is, is that not a lot of people get to that point. And I remember not making a lot of currency myself, especially when I was starting out. And so the idea for this is to start at the lowest of the low in terms of investment currency making and provide something where you can make a little bit of money just to upgrade your build. Because I've definitely been at points in the league where I've gotten stuck. I'm like, huh, you know, how do I make some money to upgrade my build? And especially when I was a new player, it was really hard for me to do such a thing. So what did we do? Well, if we take a look at our Atlas tree, we got a lot going on. The good news is, most of this is irrelevant. Not that it's not good, it's just that I didn't run that content for this test. I just left it spec'd as it is, as my normal content looks something like this, as I enjoy running like this. However, what's important is the essences. This tree right here, this one right here, up here, and finally up here. These are very, very important. Why? Because they don't actually scale with the map tier. So you can put in white tier maps and still get the exact same essences out, which means that you can run easier content and still generate a lot of money. Why is this good? Notice our void stones. There we are. None in, right? I have some favorite maps because I enjoy running Strand, Crimson Temple, and I can bounce between them. But no void stones, okay? And we're staying in tier one maps. Why are we doing this? Again, as I just said, essences don't scale the map tier, right? So as a result, you get easier content. I even chucked in, this was just for fun for testing, Wellspring of Creation for like less damage. So you're just basically immortal in these white tier maps, uh, but you don't have to do that. It's more just, hey, I had a lot of overkill damage. In fact, you might figure out that, oh, hey, my build's immortal, but I need more damage. Just one-shot everything. Take Dance of Destruction, right? If you even want to spend the points on it, it's just an additional thing. All the stuff that I blocked, etc., doesn't matter. Literally, it's just getting all the essences, and that's it. You don't need additional map drop chance or none of that, right? Um, and that's the idea behind this. Very, very simple. And the idea is to run into a map and run the map and then see what you get out of it. Um, so, in fact, I'll go ahead and run, run, run one right now. I didn't discriminate for like the maps, so like they could be white, transmute, alc, didn't really matter. Maybe I said run on in. If I got a delirium mirror, I would run the delirium mirror. Um, but besides that, that's that's about it. Um, again, I would skip the other content. So if we encounter like an expedition harvest, I wouldn't run it. Um, I just walk right past it. And the idea is you just kind of roll on down the map. And that is about it. The good news is about this, right, is because, you know, even if you're not confident with your build and you're like, hey, I'm a low level or my gear isn't quite up to par, that is okay. Because again, we're, we're running really, really low tier content for this. You know, I can pop through packs here, no problem, and my damage is way overkill. Um, in fact, this was actually meant for farming. This build was actually meant for sh farming Shaper, um, and uh, which it does do quite fine, um, and I very much so enjoy it. However... I really wanted to bring this down a notch and just show, hey, what's the lowest of low you could do with the character um, and have it be quite profitable. And we'll talk about the results in a second. Okay, so here's an essences here, right? In this case, since I'm a trapper, I can chuck down some traps and things like that. But again, these die very, very quick regardless, even if I didn't set up traps, just because this is, again, a tier one map with no mods. And so they don't gain massive bonuses from being in higher tier maps, let alone the mods that are put on the map, right? Like, I'm not too scared, like, walking through that, the, uh, I think it's called, like, Lightning, not Lightning Mirage, but it's, like, whatever the Lightning Ring is, right? Um, or Mana Siphoner, I think what it is. Is that right? Something like that. Anyway, um, you know, I'm not too scared. 
and I can just kind of run through the map, do my own thing. All is good, and I'm actually taking extra time to kill all the mob packs. You don't have to do this. Um, oop, there we go, just got a map. Ooh, looks like this guy. A little spicy, he's got a... Oh, never mind, he's dead. Um, <laughs> I was going to say he's got a mod on him, but again, that's the power of the T1 maps, right? Um, that, uh, you know, they don't have all these additional mods on them and such, right? And they drop a lot of additional loot. Now you may say, oh, well, you know, you're playing a trapper and you can set up that additional stuff. Yeah, but again, I'm I'm overkilling them by so much that it doesn't even matter. And additionally, as well, keep in mind, we have this. So they have 50% more life, right? So, like, you don't even have to take that. And then you have so much more damage anyway. So, you know, point, point is, again, the content's very, very easy. There are the bosses here. Awesome. And you'll see we're actually sustaining maps very, very easily. Um, and in our tab two, we actually started, I started with one map and all in that tab, and I'll pop back in. Do I have a portal scroll here? I do not. All right, well, in that case, we're gonna have to do the old log in, log out. There we are. Um, and uh, yeah, those were that was totally sustaining my maps just fine. So let's pop back to our hideout. And we can go ahead and take a look and see. So like all of this here was all printed from just tier one and tier two maps essentially, right? Which is absolutely fantastic. So as a whole, can't be more pleased with this strategy, right? Because even from that map, we definitely made a couple of chaos at least. Um, but the big key is your big hits. What are your big hints? Well, let's, or excuse me, hits. Well, let's jump into excellence for that. So go ahead and update our tab. And I cut out things that are around 0.5, see or below. Um, so like if we sort by price here, we have things like whaling essence, things like that, which granted you wouldn't sell, right? And so I'm kind of like, hmm, you know, how would, you know, like how to take this stuff out? Well, it's kind of hard because if you have, like I could, you would manually sort it out technically, right? But I just want to get this video out. Um, but like things like shrieking essence of misery is one chaos, but like I don't want to put the cutoff at one chaos because, you know, you want to be selling something like this, right? So what would I like estimate at least? Well, from looking through this on my own time, it seems to be around, it says 1.12 div. I would probably say it's like, I don't know, 0.75 or something like that. Um, but that's with average or actually poor luck, in my opinion. And why do I say that? Well, you'll notice at the top here, we have something called an essence of horror, right? And we have two of them. We actually got this from a essence monster on a strand map that we corrupted with a remnant of corruption. We saw purple essence. I think it was like dread or something like that. It was one of the four um, corruptible. Here, I'll even pop back into game four. It was one of these four kind of along here, right? Like the Essence of Delirium, all these. And, or excuse me, I'm sorry, the ones up here, these four. The Scorn, Envy, and Misery, and Dread, which corrupt into those four. What that gives you, basically, is a, those four Essences is a chance of hitting one of these big ones when you go to use a Remnant of Corruption. We encountered, like, four or five, actually pretty high number. Again, like, that's almost like 50% in our maps, which maybe that's high. But the corrupting only worked once. So it's, you know, it's not really that far off in terms of luck. So it happened once, got two essences of horror, which is a lot of money. That's 70C. So as a result, we also got other stuff too. Um, we got, you know, additional uh, div cards, things like that, which you definitely could sell um, or not. You know, it's totally up to you. But I think over time building them up, you definitely could. Um, you could even bulk some on TFT or something. That could definitely work. Um, veiled chaos um, and also some delirium stuff because I did have a delirium mirror and funny enough running delirium mirrors on those maps those really early tier maps are fine because you can still get delirium orbs and those are always worth something so not too bad so overall the strategy is pretty simple it's definitely not anything crazy and you know definitely isn't something as efficient as doing like you know t16 maps with the strategy or something however it is a very concrete way to get some currency, similar to like heisting or something like that. It's just very, very low key and can help get your build going. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, it's a pretty simple video, but I just want to throw that out there for people really struggling because that can help people too, again, through the earlier maps, you know, if you're playing late or something like that. So that's kind of the main purpose. Anyway, um, hope you all enjoy the rest of the league and I'll be back soon. Cheers.